it's Beanie. Don't forget to like and subscribe to become part of the Hottie Squad. Make sure to hit the notification bell and set it to all so you don't miss an upload. Anyway, enjoy the video! Hello everyone, Beanie here, and welcome back to the sixth day of my 12 Days of Skin Mist series. Today is another really simple tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a flower crown that looks like it's made out of holly for your Minecraft skin. Currently I just have a blank skin right here, but you can use your own skin loaded up by going to file and get from MC username. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to choose a nice deep red color. We want this to be pretty dark red, a little closer to pink than it is orange just so that it looks like a nice dark base for our holly berries, for the little berries. Um, we are going to turn off everything except for the head and make sure that the overlay layer is not on. And we are going to go to the top of the head and map out where we want our berries to be. We're gonna put them in little groups of either two or one, and we want them to be like very close together. We can add like probably three maximum on each head, on each side of the head over here. Uh, but I might do one where I put four. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, no, this is four. Like, I mean like three little groups like that, and it looks, it'll look pretty good, so. Here we go. We have all the base of the holly done right now. So now we want to choose a nice Christmassy green color, which is a green that is closer to blue. And then this is going to be our darkest, actually, no, we're not gonna choose our darkest green color. We wanna choose our medium green color over here. And we're just going to mark out the shape of leaves coming out from the holly berries over here like this and you can make it however you want and however you think will look the best i'm trying to make it so like each leaf is a little thing like that and they will all go together really well just fitting it all together nicely like this and making sure if there's anything that connects on the sides to bring it out and connect it everywhere else. And I'm just continuing making the leaves over here in the one green color like this. Alright, so we have the basic leaves done. There is a little bit that went off the head like that on there so I'm just putting it on the bottom of the head and now we are going to darken our color by five by moving this five ticks to the left and we are going to move it the tiniest bit closer to the blue just to give the shading a little more definition and this is on the hue saturation lightness scale and then we are going to add just some definition to the different leaves and kind of make some leaves stand out and other leaves not stand out as much just so that everything looks, you know, more natural and more cohesive all together. I'm just going to continue to do this over here, over everywhere, leaving my little spaces for the different leaves that I want to make stand out versus the leaves that I don't want to make stand out. Now that we have that, we are going to pick our base color that we used for the green and we are going to lighten it in the same way that we darkened it by moving it five ticks to the right this time and then moving it a little bit more closer to the yellow spectrum over here. And then we're just going to add some little highlight on the leaves in the places that we think looks best. You can do it shading wise, like if you want to have like a light source part on your skin, you can make it look like the shines are pointing there, or you can just basically do whatever you want to do here. So we have the main leaf parts done, and actually I'm just going to, um, or no, I'm not going to erase that. I thought I was going to, but I'm not. <laughs> so I'm going to take the berry color that we used over here, and I'm going to lighten it 
like we lightened everything else with the moving <laughs> the cursor thing five ticks to the right and moving it slightly more into orange. And then I'm going to turn on the overlay layer by clicking on the little helmet part on the head and making sure this box is ticked. And I'm going to add a pixel of the lighter colored red over where the darker colored red is to give this some more dimension and just make it look like, like they're kind of rounded, I guess. It makes it look like it's just popping out and standing out and stuff. And I'm going to pick the lighter green color that we used, and I'm also going to add some of the highlights on the leaves here. They don't have to be in the exact spot where they were on the other parts, and sometimes it can actually look better if you put them in a different spot than the highlight already is on there, and it gives it like a cool little design that's it's just slightly different. So you can do that if you want. You can put it exactly over where you put the highlights if you want. Just do whatever you think looks best. And then with this, that means we're done with this holly flower crown. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and I will see you guys all in the next episode of Skin Mist where we are going to be making a snow jacket and boots. So I'll see you guys all later. 